This video demonstrates installation of our concealed hitch for the Harley Softail Classic and Deluxe for model years from 1984 to present. This hitch also fits Harley Fatboy models prior to 2007. This US made hitch features a durable powder coat finish and includes high quality fasteners at all points. Installation requires just a few common tools listed in the instructions. You'll need a T45 Torx bit to remove two bolts, and this is available at any hardware or home improvement store. To begin installation, remove the saddlebags and set them in a safe place. Remove the passenger seat and set it aside. There are three bolts on each side of the fender two saddlebag studs, and a Torx head bolt. Remove the center bolt on each side first. Next, remove the Torx head bolt on each side and lift the passenger backrest up and forward. To keep the nut plate in place behind the fender, loosely reinstall the Torx head bolts. Remove the front saddlebag stud and install the sidearm between the fender strut and the passenger backrest mounting rail. Use thread lock on this and all other bolts you install in the fender. Repeat this process for the other side. Next, remove the Torx bolts and lower the backrest. Raise the hitch sidearm on one side to align the back hole with the rear mounting point in the fender. Loosely reinstall the Torx bolt. Put your hand behind the fender to keep the captured nut plate in place. Repeat this process for the other side. When both Torx bolts are in place, you can reinstall the remaining saddlebag stud. Leave it a little slack for now. Now slide the base plate into place and secure it with four carriage bolts, washers, and nylock nuts that are provided with the hitch. You don't need to use thread lock on these. Tighten these bolts. Install the tow bar using the grade 8 half inch flange headed bolts with thread lock. Tighten these bolts. Finally, install the class 1 1 and 7 8 inch tow ball on the tow bar and tighten that bolt. Before you reinstall the saddlebags, make sure that you tighten the Torx head bolts and the saddlebag studs on each side of the fender. Reinstall the saddlebags and passenger seat. You can easily remove the tow bar and ball when you're not trailering for a clean and nearly invisible look. Hook up your trailer and you're ready to tow. Be sure to check the tightness of all fasteners each time you use your trailer, especially the bolts that secure the tow bar and tow ball. Send any questions you have to info at ushitch.com. Enjoy your journeys and ride safe.